think that women can be the best version of themselves at any age. I don't think it's something you have to achieve by a certain time in your life. When I was very young, I knew I was creative and um, I didn't know that I wanted to do it for life. I didn't know that I wanted to develop it. I just knew that it made me happy. My grandfather had a studio and I'd go and spend time with him and remember all the smells of the oil paints and I loved it. I started menopause and things were changing and I was handling an uneasy time shifting and um, I wasn't sure, you know, my position in life anymore. My children were grown up and out of, out of home. I fought it a little bit. It was uncomfortable. I wasn't very happy. And then I just um, surrendered to the process and felt like I was going through a metamorphosis almost. I have opportunities of recreating myself outside of being a family person, a mother, wife. And that's where I really got into, sunk into my art in a different way, which I was dabbling before. This became a very big part of my life. And I think that your, your experiences in life are the things that add to the depth of your artwork. So I think possibly older people have got more to say in their art. So this body of work definitely is part of everything that I've experienced in life. It's a little bit of me in each piece, definitely. The people that I chose to do the series on, the icons, are my personal icons. They represented something powerful um, for me. Frida Kahlo was bedridden and was able to produce artworks. Um, she had a very hard life and she's an absolute icon. Iris Upfall, who's turned 100, is just an incredible woman that is still doing work and um, she, she walks to the beat of her own drum. She's not interested in getting anybody's opinion on how she should look or behave. So the RuPaul, for me, he has taken a reality show and really had a significant impact on drag queens' lives. He's given them a platform to be powerful, to be amazing, to show their artistry. I think there's great depth to the work that RuPaul does. The Amanda Gorman piece had a huge impact on me. First of all, she's an incredibly talented young person. The fact that she's so young and she got to say the, uh, read the, her inauguration speech, The Hill We Climb, um, it had such a profound effect on me. I felt moved, I, I wept when I listened to her poem. Um, and just that the unfairness in America is everywhere that you know that people are treated badly because of the color of their skin there's just inequality in so many arenas in life and it felt that like it was in the poem for me so i did feel incredibly moved by that it is a very very special piece to me the thing around becoming a recognizable artist it's because you stay true to yourself you stay true to what you want to do stay true to yourself keep on doing what you love doing practice it it's the 10,000 hour concept where you become great at what you're doing and it does show through and it doesn't mean um, it needed to have started when you were five it doesn't mean it needed to have started at university it can start from 50 if you've got the, the will to push your, your art, then you will become great at it.